don't look, you don't gotta fucking look good there for anybody. I'm not gonna be there. I do have to look good there. No, you don't. I don't wanna eat tuna your, hoagie. Your boy, fine. I'll get a tuna hoagie. You have a handful of kale. We're loving life. Woo woo. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my TED Talk. This isn't even a TED Talk. Okay. This is a good one. Back to the Fun YouTube, one. YouTube channel. I feel like I don't know what to put on YouTube versus the podcast because I'll probably talk about this on the podcast. Probably. But I feel like I wanted to do, um, let's just start from the beginning. We're moving. We are moving. We're moving. We've started the process of actually packing. Say it together. We're, We're moving. moving. Oh, oh, I can't be with gosh. me. We are moving. I think I briefly talked about it on Instagram that we are leaving Philadelphia. And because our wedding is... So we're moving out the end of September, lease is up, wedding is mid-October, so we're basically going back to the, my parents' house in New Jersey, beach house, mm -hmm. and we're gonna stay there until at least after the wedding so that we can just not even think about what we're doing until after that. Do we have any mints? And then we'll figure it out, probably. And then we'll figure out where we're gonna live. Yeah. Because we don't know. We're kind of just like, you know, we did our whole trip to California and we loved it, but we're kind of just like, we don't know where we want to be and we don't know if we want to like sign another lease for like a whole year because we're just so like indecisive, which I kind of hate. I don't know if we're indecisive or not. I feel like I'm... We just want to be everywhere all at once. We want to live in California. We want to live in Texas. We want to live in Tennessee. We want to live in PA. We want to live everywhere. The mountains. So. We, want, we have basically the, I want to say long term, but kind of short-term goal is to be bi-coastal. Somewhere where we can be close to family and somewhere where we can be away for the winters because I don't want to be here for the winters. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of just like exploring options. But then I'm like, oh, well, it'd be fun to live in like Wyoming in the mountains. I'm just, we're so all over the place. Uh, but then we're also like, well, we, it would be nice to have a really big house and be able to not pay $10 million for that house. Yeah. Because we can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. It's not so enough. yeah, I don't know. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. We are moving. We're moving out of Philly, and it's sad because you know some of our friends are here that we love hanging out with and seeing, and our families here. Um, so for that, we're kind of like it's definitely like a sad thing. Yeah, can't believe we've already been here for a year. Seems like it. When I think when I was living it, it was like, yeah. oh my gosh, time is going so slow, and now it's been a year that's flown by. Like we got Willow, and she was like this little puppy. And now she's a monster. Yeah. We're also going to pick her up today. So I'll show you guys that because she's been in training. We'll talk about that in the car. I don't know. All of it. So someone's coming to pick up our couch. They it's bought probably our, our last couch. time sitting on it right now. Yeah. I'm sad. I mean, it's like, you know, it's not the most, we just, it's not, it's not the most in the perfect. Space. Like if you have one couch for us, because one, the color, with, with a dog. dog, we had to have it covered. We know. And it's not like the most comfortable. It's not bad, but it's not like, you know, it's not the type of couch you want to like snuggle up and lay on for hours. It's not big enough, honestly. Yeah. Like it's not wide enough. And I think if we ever get a house someday or something, we would just go all out and get something huge. Yeah. So it would be like the perfect second couch for like yeah. a, a family, family room. room or, yeah. But we don't have that right now. So there's no point in like just storing it for a few years. I mean, yeah. We would if we had to, but somebody wanted to buy it, so they're picking it up. And then we sold like a few other things, but most of the stuff we're keeping, mm -hmm. which I like, like our table keeping, and I love that. And Pat's like, mm -hmm. but yeah, we're keeping. It. I know. We're keeping it. I know. <laughs> okay, so we just don't know when we're to... ever gonna have it set up to be a table again. Well, I feel like we could take that to any apartment anywhere. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. with the chairs and stuff. But, um, so we will keep you updated on what we decide. But as of now, we don't have a place that we're living. We're just gonna go to my parents again, live there for a little bit, have the wedding, and then we'll figure it out. That's it for now. Put your hand on there. Okay, we're on our way to go pick up Willow. Talked about it on the podcast a little bit because she was at a two-week training at Nor. It's called Nora's Dog Training, and they we called the other day to like check on her and give her a pickup time. And what was the first thing she said? She said Willow has been a challenge for her. Yeah, I don't know what that really means. I'm thinking like 
maybe because we brought her for training when she was one like maybe it was like I want to say it's like a little too late but people were like no it's not like she's still a puppy I think she's learned a lot but she they were saying like in public things just go out the door and like I don't know I guess it's just been harder so she's going back anyway for when we have our wedding and stuff so she'll have like a whole another three weeks but yeah she better be good yeah we I'm just sure she'll be better I thought she was bad yeah but I don't know what to expect like I feel like I'm gonna nothing's I don't know I don't think that much is gonna be different I think she'll listen a little better she'll listen a little more we'll have a little better control but it's not like two weeks is gonna change her forever yeah but. yeah I don't know we'll see so we're like 20 minutes away from getting her and we'll see what happens she's locked we made it. You excited to get her? There it is, no one's dog training. Should I bring that folder or we'll come back through? Oh, we'll come back through. Oh, that's a cute. Bring the girl out. What? Bring the girl out. Oh, this is cute back here. Yeah. Wow, it's their training yeah, area. Yeah, but they do it like here, that thing, and then they have another one over there. Yeah. Oh, so they're going that way? Yeah, I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> How do you want to sacked? <laughs> Just like you mentioned Wawa because she's already over the top. Okay. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. How are you? Okay, I see that you're. I see that you're excited. So she doesn't have a lot of slack, and every time she drops her head, correct her. Tell her no heel. No, sit and give her a little tug. Well. That's not perfect, but it's better than jumping all over you. So when you stop, whether it's to cross traffic or talk to someone, that's what you want. Either a sit or a down. That had a good girl. You can talk to her. Get your big ass up there. Go girl, I'll go girl. We didn't really miss you. I did miss you. Mm, a little dirty. All right. Need a suit, sir? No, thank you. No suit, okay. Thank you very nice much. Suit. Have a good one. We just got some gas. We picked her up, as you saw. Your mom's calling you. Oh, my mom's calling me. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, well, we were trying to figure out if we should come to Margate or not for her to say hi, but are you guys at the beach? How's Willow? She's good. Yeah. And what happened when she saw you? Did she knock you over? <laughs> you know, excited. They expected her to be excited. Yeah. You know, she still needs work, but... But they, they give you, like, you know, what you should do? Yeah, they gave us, and they, you know, she's like because they're gonna be in Margate, they were like, you know, we wanna see her before she comes back for the next three weeks because we don't want her to lose what she's, the progress she's made. So like, I yeah. think they're willing to come out to us for free, like as many times as we want. Oh, okay. So it's what really, she... yeah, I mean, she gave us some instructions okay. and did like a little lesson with Pat, but yeah, okay. it's not like she's gonna, you know, you guys aren't gonna see her and she's, she's gonna jump on you. Like, I feel like don't expect her to be perfect because she's, no, you I'm know. not. She's I'm not. I'm just wondering if you guys know what to do because that's part of the training, you know. Right? Yeah. They got to train you, basically. <laughs> yeah. We did a little training, or Pat did a little training session with her. I'm a dog trainer now. I feel like when I was watching you, I was like, oh, I can see the progress she's made. Like, she does listen. Yeah. She also, the trainer there was talking about how, like, stubborn Willow is and everything and, like, you know, she obviously has some stuff to, to work on, but she's going back in a few weeks, and I feel like, I don't know, what did you think? Yeah, 
I think the foundation is there and like when we were talking to the lady at the end we're like Willow knows what to do yeah like she like knows she's just so distracted and hyper and just whether or not she'll do it yeah so. but she was also like really like she was excited to see us which they knew was gonna happen and she was also like exhausted like she's tired yeah um, I kept getting, of course, worried because she's like, you know, she's trying to keep her in a routine and like the next few weeks are going to be just hectic. Like, yeah. it's going to be hard for us to be like, awesome. let's, yeah, let's train her all these hours of the day. Yeah. It'll be easier when we're down here. Yeah. But, I don't know. Yep, more work. More training, Willie. Willie, you need more training. She needs. Yeah, well, I feel like the more we like talk about it too, the more I'm like, oh, she needs more, she needs more, when we weren't even planning on taking her to something like this. Yeah, and I think, and we've said it before, it's not like everything she's doing is so bad or yeah. difficult or that different from other dogs. It's just blown out of proportion because of her, her size. size. Yeah, but it is a big deal. I mean, it is a big and deal. And it's annoying for us to deal with yeah. her jumping on people, especially people that like don't like dogs. So. Yeah, her on the leash and, you know, pulling. Or, yeah. So we have some work to do with Will, but uh, she's home with us now for the next like month, and we're gonna we also get like free training with her at home. This is not a sponsored thing. I wish it was. <laughs> um, but they like come to your house after because you know you're spending a lot of money. So yeah, we'll see how she is. No couch, but we're home. She's like, oh. she just ate. Good. <clears throat> Hi. Good girl. I missed you. Did you miss us? little bit about mental health um, and just kind of show you guys like tell you guys where I'm at and what's been going on um, nothing bad nothing crazy I so you saw we picked up Willow we're moving the wedding and everything and what was the first thing about this vlog that I showed you just that we were moving um, so we're in the midst of like packing everything you can see our we sold what was underneath our uh, TV and this is just like clothes and everything just waiting to be packed um but probably will be last minute so because i have my bachelorette weekend and then i don't know i'm headed there and then we will be actually moving we haven't even booked a mover yet and it's september 19th anyway um so yeah i feel like on social media i've kind of been in like a rut not necessarily like motivation wise like i feel like that comes and goes but more so just like my head has been everywhere and I and the stress has been so bad that um, I'm getting those like stress headaches which feel like a rubber band that goes like around your head and then also I get like these little like they're actually really scary I get these um, sharp pains in my temple usually my right side but sometimes both and it feels like it's like the startling sharp pain and I start panicking because I'm like oh my god did something just happen in my brain in my head um, but I've had them before so I try to talk myself down and I'm like I think it's just stress build up um, when that happens, I start to get my anxiety comes back and my panic attacks start to like really flare up. I haven't had like a full one yet, but um, I am prescribed to Xanax and I took one the other night. I took a half the other night, which I think I'm prescribed to like 0.25 milligrams. So it's not that much, but usually when I take a half, it actually does calm me down. And the other night I had like one of those things in my head, I think from stress, that's what I'm hoping. And it my brain was i literally my thoughts and my anxiety is so powerful that i could not get out of it i was like it the half of a xanax it just didn't really help um eventually i think i just fell asleep don't know how because i woke up and i was like oh my gosh i thought i was going to just panic and part of me was like i need to go to the hospital didn't go and i was by myself because pat was here and i was at the beach house so anyway it was fine but it just kind of reminded me to like actually take time for myself 
and speaking to you guys too just like i know some of you deal with stress mental health issues anxiety and i feel like it's always talked about now more so than it used to be but we talk about it as if it's like you know i had this and this and then like when it really flares up and it's really bad then i feel like i need to like just talk more about it um i think because sometimes usually when my like panic attacks happen there's no like actual reason and now i think like the stress of the wedding covid bachelorette coming up it's all i hate to say it because it's like all good things that are happening in my life um and with the move and everything but i just feel like all the combined and like worrying about this and worrying about that and having to do this and having no time and then work on top of it and having to post and you know not really feeling instagram lately is just really hard so i just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about it and just have an open conversation although i know you guys can't talk back but at least if this is happening to you in any of your work life or your personal life or whatever it is like we're all going through it at some point and i don't think anyone ever has moments ever doesn't have those moments um we talk about a lot of this on our podcast so if you haven't listened to the podcast you guys should definitely go check it out because there's just like a lot of conversations pat and i have um that are just really relatable and i have them more on there than i do on youtube but i wanted to kind of bring it here because it's just part of the vlog the moving and all of it so i just wanted to like quickly talk about it just washed my hair feels so good i love taking like midday or late day showers and just not doing anything to my hair honestly that is therapy for me that's something that de-stresses me like taking a shower and knowing I don't have to shoot, I don't have to do my hair, I don't have to put makeup on, I don't have to do any of that, that makes me so happy and excited. Some other things that you guys, I just wanted to like mention a few things that you guys said that helps you de-stress and another, I'll put a list up here of what you guys had said, but some of them were like going out in nature, going for walks, putting your phone away, of course, that's a huge one. Listening to podcasts, that's one for me watching reality like trash tv that's another one that i just love i feel like it just really like no matter what i'm doing no matter how stressed i am it takes my mind off of it and that's like actually one of the only things that fully takes my mind off of stuff um being with family and friends sometimes that's hard for me if i'm in a really bad mental space because then i feel like i can't listen to what they're saying and i can't like be totally present um but sometimes if you're like me and my mom will just go on walks and we don't even have to talk and it's like that's helpful too um yeah so those are some i'll try to write some more up here if i can think of what else you guys had said when i put that like de-stressing question box on my instagram so anyway i think that's enough of the talk i just wanted to bring it to your guys attention and just let you guys know and open up and hopefully you guys can relate so i think that's it for this vlog so that is it for this vlog. We are obviously moving. I think Pat and I are gonna have sushi for dinner. We got actually whole food sushi, which is like one of my favorites. It's just easy, it's so good, um, and it's like cheap. So we're gonna eat that for dinner and maybe have a glass of wine. I'm dying for a glass of wine. And our situation, I'll show you guys um, before I end the vlog, our situation in the kitchen right now is a bed like that we're getting rid of, but we got rid of our couch, so we have nothing. And somebody came and picked up our rug as well. So we don't even have that and it's willow takes up the entire bed so cool hey. this is our situation no couch <laughs> just sitting here on the guest bed that we now have in the kitchen which the guest bed is a bed that is like 15 years old yeah <laughs> it's a hand-me-down for my sister yeah, I think we're gonna give it to somebody else too. Yeah. So that we don't we don't know what to do with it or half our stuff. But Willie is sleeping, and we're watching Ted Lasso. I don't know if you guys are watching the show, but we kind of weren't like super into it. Would you say? It's not my favorite. I don't I know. Feel like it's just not our it. show type because I feel like we don't really get into. Not that it's comedy, but it's kind of like very lighthearted. It's supposed to be comedy though. Yeah, like there's like definitely some like, I don't know, like it's a, um, I can't think of the word right now. Like easy watching, like, you know, low stress watch show. Yeah, like feel good show. Yeah, feel good show. But it's not 
It hasn't wrapped us in yet. Yeah. We're watching White Lotus, which we're like way more into. Yeah. But I just like want to continue watching this so we can... Well, because everybody we talk to loves Ted Lasso. And I think we actually just maybe came to a little a bit of a breaking point. Yeah, it's, it's getting it better, better on episode like seven, which I hate about shows when they take Forever, an entire yeah. season. Yeah. I feel like if it was any other show, we would have turned it off before. This. Yeah. <laughs> but we're this far. Yeah. All right, I'm ending the vlog. On the cheek. Love you all. Love you.